विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुदेव परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम चिन्मय व्यापीयत्सर्वैलोक्यम सचराचर तत्पम दर्शित तस्म श्री गुरव नम ओ शांति 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 वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचानूरमतनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु in these last few satsangs we have seen from bhagavad gita from narad bhakti sutra and the leelas of krishna the gopis and particularly radharani hmm? all these kathas all this knowledge is to invoke that devotion in us that devotion which brings about purity at all levels of our personality that love in which there is not even a flaw a crack or the impurity of the ego selfishness where there is only the thought of love and love expresses itself in giving that's the very nature of love now whenever we hear the word giving we always think that something out of me i have to give to the other but when your right hand gives to the left hand is there any reluctance in giving because the giver and the receiver is one and the same love shows us that oneness hmm? and even though so many things were said if you reflect on all that was said in the last 5 days many things with our own contemplation we can realize these stories are not only to develop in us that devotion and when it rises it will do its own magic but it also shows us the method by which we can develop this devotion so by hearing if it has not come then through reflection we have to develop it therefore in shrimad bhagavatam in bhagavat mahatmyam the story of dundukari is there i don't know if you all have heard hmm? dundukari is there and he was a brother of gokarna and when gokarna finds out that so many crimes he has done and he has died and after dying he has a you know taken a f- terrible form trapped in the twilight zone 
hmm? and has become a ghost. How to liberate him? He finds out that the best way is to have Bhagavad Sapta. Now, being just a you know, spirit, he was given the bamboo to stay in so that he could hear the Katha. And each day, one node of the bamboo would break and after seven days, such a sinful Dundukari took a beautiful form and went to the higher abodes. But all the people who were sitting there and listening, they were the so-called pure-minded ones. Hmm? They had come to listen to Bhagavad Sapta. This guy was a ghost. <laughs> hmm? Lived a life of such crimes. He got a beautiful form and he went to the higher worlds, say even to Vaikunt. But the people remained there only. Yeah. So everybody said that sinner got release. I am deliberately not using the word liberation because this is not the ultimate liberation. One would expect that those who listen with such devotion, pure-hearted people, already devoted, they should have attained liberation only. Hmm? Why did, did they not receive it? Very often people say also, so many years of hmm, studying Vedanta, what has happened? Nothing, it cannot say that nothing has happened, no. It so happened that one uh, satsang, one lady came and came up and told Gurudev, you know, that what is the use of all this talk? My husband has not changed a bit. <laughs> so Gurudev laughed and said, that's a compliment. Because in this world where everybody keeps on becoming worse, if that person has not become worse, <laughs> that itself is a blessing. Huh? <laughs> Maybe not grown exponentially, but at least not become bad. In this world, to, to deteriorate, to fall down is so easy. Therefore, regular satsang is essential. Hmm? Otherwise, when the decline begins, but very often you say, but what's the progress? This person has not changed at all, you know. Why don't you become the living example of change? That others would look at you and want to be. Hmm? So they asked Gokarna as to even Gokarna's question was that how come all these sajjans did not realize if a ghost who has been so sinful, I mean if you see the sin and the crime, he's killed his own mother, living with how many women, you know. All these things he has done, he has only stolen. Such a person by listening to Bhagavad Katha realized, hmm? got freedom from his sins and became, you know, a denizen of the higher worlds. Why? Why not people? And finally, the sages told Gokarna, all these people did Shravan. Hmm? And all knowledge is gained through Shravan only. But simultaneously, we don't internalize it. Hmm? 
we don't make it our own knowledge really speaking shravana matrena only by listening to the guru even realization should take place because there's no other means of knowledge but why is it that good people progress slowly and people who get a chance like ratnakar daku hmm, became a valmiki hmm. if a daku can become a valmiki a ghost can be hmm, go to vaikunt hmm. why not such good people hmm, attain it one common factor is good people they are quite happy complacent being good <laughs> because you are good everything in life is good everybody around you is good also yeah till some problem comes in <laughs> then you start doubting yourself you start doubting your faith you start doubting you know everything but that doubt makes you think why did the gopis remain separate from krishna that if krishna does not will they remain pining for him and in that viraha in that viraha that constant remembrance of the beloved that was their saving fact that when we are in the embrace of krishna wonderful but separated from krishna don't forget krishna hmm? don't forget krishna and know that those who like radha keep on only thinking about krishna 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 bhagwan is thinking of radha even more bhagwan is thinking about his devotee even more <coughs> therefore bhagwan to is waiting hmm? that we have to think and therefore he was told that those who listened should reflect hmm? and now listen how dundukari he had no other means therefore for him it was a necessity hmm? it was a necessity he had no more choice he had no other sharan this was his only hope therefore ananyata he listened with that ananyata i have explained all these terms now hmm? he listened with that attitude and that sense of necessity until and unless we have that urgency until and unless we understand the necessity until and unless we understand the importance that it is only this knowledge which is gained through this kind of devotion that we can be free from all our limitations and sorrows anek janma samprapta karma bandha vidahine atma gyana pradanena tasmay shri gurave nama i bow down to that guru who gave us the knowledge of our own self by which cut asunder the bondage born out of the actions as a result of actions from countless lifetimes yeah. so when things are good and when we get it with convenience 
we take it for granted. Everything we gain is by the grace of the Lord as well as the grace of the Guru. But what we have to do is like that squirrel, just that wee bit. Hmm? To open up our hearts for that knowledge, for that devotion, for that grace to get in. Why did you think that Krishna became a thief? Hmm? Because he has to enter our hearts only as a thief. We don't invite him. Hmm? And Bhagwan also is to tell how to go and steal. Hmm? Yeah. When the Gopa boys will say, Are you at the door in the village? The doors are open. No? Nobody closes the door. We want to talk about equality that exists even now in our villages. Because all of them are equal. Nobody is going to go to anybody's house to steal. If they are all poor, they are all poor. If they are all rich, they are all rich. Yeah? We all can at government level and economic level and financial level and financial times keep on writing. But come to the villages, see what it is. No? So when they would come and say, Krishna, Krishna, door is open. He said, no, no. When you go to steal, you have to find ways because every day door might not be open. <laughs> and therefore, if you go to steal, you go from the window. And Bhagwan enters not through our mouth, not through our nose. Hmm? Our heart though, is completely covered with ribs. He enters through our ears. When we keep the company of devotees, Prathama Bhagati Santanakara Sangha, from where we started, we have to even conclude that way, you know. Prathama Bhagati Santanakara Sangha, Du Sari Rati Mama Katha Prasanga. When you again and again and again and again revel in it, you know. Then, like yesterday's gulab jamu. <laughs> I didn't eat it, huh? <laughs> but you say, ah, what? So you keep on remembering that is called as reflection, that you enjoy just thinking about it. Then, when everybody reflected and realized with the faith that it is possible for such a criminal, to be freed of all his sins and attain the higher abode, it is possible for all of us. Hmm? With that sense of possibility, they listened. And therefore, the importance of the feeling of necessity. Don't take your spiritual life for granted. The opportunity that you have been given for granted. This life that you had. Hmm? Where you have been brought up in self-sufficient families. That you didn't have to struggle or go through hunger, thirst, etc. Even if you came from what they call lower medical, middle class family. Our parents kept us as prince and princesses, is it not? Yeah. Such a birth is rare. In that also to be brought up as a cultural person with values. Some of your children, what benefit they are getting? That from childhood they are getting Balvihar. Hmm? Some of you even at your home did not get that grandmother's stories. But having got that also, and then in life, to come under the wings of a Mahatma, like Puja Gurudev, 
and that too also a gyan guru all encompassing guru that does not limit you with one path or one technique or one thing but all encompassing so any type of people fit unfit any gender any race any belief to come and having got that opportunity if we still did not gain it in this life there can only be two things that you enjoy this knowledge you appreciate this knowledge but you don't think it is possible hmm? and the second is you do not feel the urgency and necessity for it you know? whether it is volunteer seva whether it is listening shravan satsang how must we do it with the sense of urgency with the sense of necessity i have told you all that of radha and krishna but let me tell you about that gopi hmm? who heard about who heard about this krishna because it has spread la- far and wider social media there was even more prevalent <laughs> because the fastest way of communication is neither a telegram not a telefax not a television but it is tell a woman <laughs> today also without uh, all these gadgets hmm? if you really want publicity or you want news to reach if only the woman here hmm, would take up hmm, to spread the message that balviar sessions are starting in person hmm, and they, no one can be much more convincing to other women than they hmm. yeah we could have 1000 reg- registrations hmm and the numbers is not for us it is that our community must get it how do we spread the importance of it there was the word had spread on all the villages but fortunately or unfortunately this little gopi hmm? little means she is not a baby yeah this young gopi is getting wedded to a boy from gokul already she has heard that what has happened to the people hmm, in gokul hmm. and especially all these women of gokul hmm, mm-hmm. because they are the pioneers what women empowerment you all are talking about they don't need empowerment they are the power <laughs> yeah they are the shakti you know and therefore what these girls have been doing they are running after this boy hmm? <laughs> krishna hmm? so mother is giving her warning and the mother warns her hmm? there are some parents even now hmm? yeah. warns her that if you are going i have you know i'm getting you married into gokul and she hears from all the ladies there hmm, who have not ever seen krishna but who have heard all these gossips hmm. those who have not gone to vrindavan they are telling that listen there is this boy there hmm. first of all if anybody takes his name also don't listen hmm. his name starts with kri 
and that too also like Kree, he is completely crooked. Yeah, somebody asked, why Krishna is so crooked? Bhagavan said, see, in the center I am straight. Hmm? Kyonki jivan me side ke saath sida, tede ke saath teda. Shakuni ke saath teda hi ho chalna padta hai. Do not even listen to him, do not listen about him. Anybody starts talking about him, don't listen. And be aware, if you hear the sound of flute, don't get curious. Because he plays the sweetest sound of the flute. And once you hear the sound of his flute, you're gone. Even if he sees you, he's not going to leave you. Therefore, don't show yourself to him. And if once, just once, you see him, then if someone is so adorable that once you see him and you'll hmm, be in love with him, mother says, I'm sending you there, don't do any of this. And then she's crying, why is my mother sending me to a place where there's such a boy there? Hmm? <laughs> and when her dolly was being taken, yeah, as a dolly approached Gokul, she hears this most lilting, heart-rending tune. You know? She tells her friends who are walking or her maids that were there, that, what's that sound? They said, shh, it's, it's, it's that, it's that, it's that which mother want. Mother had warned all of them also, you know. It's that. So she closes her ears, you know. Then suddenly, from outside the dolly, there's suddenly silence. All the other girls have run away. And there, from outside, there is this sweet, boy calling out, hey Gopi, hey Gopi, hmm? hey Gopi, hmm? yeah. let me see you. They say you are a very pretty bi bride, let me see you. Hmm? She says, who are you? He says, I am Krishna. She immediately closes her ears and says, go away, go away from here. He says, hey, Gopi, just once, no? He doesn't pull the, the veil. That you, you please open the dholi veil and show me, no? I want to see you once, just once. Show me yourself. She held the curtain of the dholi, of the palkin, and said, go away, go away. And all throughout, and she's telling the People carrying the dolly, quickly, quickly go, quickly go. And as they're running, he's chasing her and saying, Hey Gopi, hey Gopi, just once, just once, just, just once, I want to see you. But she does not allow. She gets down from the dolly in her bridegroom's home. First thing the mother-in-law asks, Did you see him? She said, who? Hmm? Whoever, did you see anybody else? She said, no. Yeah. You sure? She said, he came, but I did not open. She said, good, now you can enter my house. <laughs> yeah. And she said, I'm not going to give you any outside work. You don't have to go and fill... Water from the Yamuna. Hmm? You don't have to go to Yamnotri. Hmm? <laughs> you stay in the house only. Hmm? 
you stay in the house keep all the windows closed because he'll come through the window also you know? she is sitting in a nuptial chamber waiting for her husband to come the window starts rattling she goes to see is it a storm and there she hears hey gopi hey gopi gopi open the window no gopi open the window no so sweetly he is saying she says go away from here just go away from here I don't want to see you again and don't you ever come back here. She remains in the household without stepping out of the house less that butter thief steals her heart. And in a few days there was that cloud burst by Indra there was flood everywhere everybody abandoned her but she has never got out from her house so how will she get house you know the waters are coming in everybody runs but she does not get out from the house till somebody is saying get out get out get out that krishna has picked up the govardhan and we will all be safe under the govardhan come come quickly finally when the waters were coming and everybody else is gone she goes running outside and she sees from a distance like an umbrella hmm, the whole govardhan there's no other this torrential rain the rain itself would crash the roof she runs there the whole of that area around gokul and vrindavan have come under the mountain wearing her gungat she has come out and she keeps asking who is lifting seven days who is alone lifting this mountain and when she hears and everybody just krishna 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 encouraging krishna to lift the mountain and then you know putting the sticks there we are also supporting it huh? hmm. krishna 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 this gopi and like other gopis and like radha hmm. being in vrindavan did not hear about she heard about krishna but only criticism hmm. she did not show her face to krishna she did not see krishna she didn't take the name of krishna and when she comes there and sees that this boy whom everybody has prevented her from seeing and she is right at the periphery and from the distance she cannot even see him all she sees is his little hand with that little finger holding the entire govardhan and still playing his flute to encourage everybody and everybody just krishna 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 finally through that crowd and all of them just trying to hold on to krishna she tries to move from that crowd finally on the seventh day she tries to move through that crowd and finally when she sees him hmm, holding that mountain how can he be so bad that everybody told me not to go to him hmm? and from there she calls out hey giridhari hey giridhari hey giridhari just once look at me you've been asking me to remove my veil but i have not removed my veil here she throws off her gungat hmm? she throws off all her shade hmm? and says just one one glance just one glance at me but he was then picking up the mountain and in that cra- crowd just to get one darshan of his just to get his one look that gopi pining there lost her life it is she who then came back as mira
and how all her life for that one glimpse of her giridari she struggled for just that one glimpse left her palaces walked on the streets sadhu sang bait bait prem bel boi ab to bel bel phail gayi anand phal hoy darshan di jo aaye tum bin rayo na jaye mere to girdhar gopal dusro na koi ja ke sir mor mukut mero pati soi विष का प्याला राणा ने बेजा पिवत भी मीरा नाची रे पग गुंगरू बांध मीरा नाची रे देर कृष्णा वॉज डांसिंग फॉर द गोपीस यू मीरा हैड टू डांस फॉर हिम एंड येट ऑल अ लाइफ फॉर दैट वन ग्लिम्स विच वॉज अवेलेबल टू हर द रास वुड हैव बीन अवेलेबल टू हर but she denied it same way in our life when we do not feel the necessity do not see the importance when problem after problem in our life comes and then we seek it if by the time we have already lost our mind in depressions and dejections and then even when it is available we cannot get it people talk about you know women empowerment you know equality for women and poor women in africa and india please poor are y'all in these countries don't superimpose it on them hmm? i run make it happen sessions hmm? i wish even the all our sevaks and committee members would attend it and then i will tell you what these women have made happen no these gopis have made it happen don't think this is of some you know dwapar yog come to sidbadi i will take you to our chinmay organization of rural Deve- development which we call as cod hmm? if anybody wants to know what is women equality women empowerment you think you will go and teach them they will teach you no what is the spirit of the gopis you have to learn it from them they did not know english mind you but they just knew that there is a mahatma who has got the well being of all of them they would come there in the evenings sit around gurudev and in their melodious pahadi voices they would sing even on filmy tunes they used to make some you know beautiful songs on gurudev you know and gurudev in spite of his hectic schedule would just sit there even that song o oh, chinmaya o oh, chinmaya hmm? Hmm? all these these village women hmm? and when gurudev initiated the rural development program it started as medical help was not reaching then they realized that there are many issues because in our urbanization we have taken away the ecology as well as the economy of these villagers and we go to the most rural villages most rural villages these women who were not even literate 
And in the village, they don't have to be literate in English. Please tell me. Don't begin put your systems into them. But yet, our country works only on English. Yeah. Because we are too busy fighting my language, my language, my language. So we'd rather accept a foreign language. Yeah. North Indian, South Indian. If we could accept a foreign language, why could we not accept a North or a South? Why did it have to be only North or only South? You know? See what we have done. Lose a language, lose a culture, lose a way of thinking. Look at what Gurudev has done in spite of all our thinking. It's not that he just brought Vedanta in English, because we understand only English today. Hmm? But in our mindset, which is not that vast mindset, which has such a great vocabulary, literature and culture, which has become so limited, so linear. Even Narad Bhakti, uh, Naradji thought, what can these village milkmaids know about Krishna? What can they do? What they must have done that Krishna remain indebted to them. Yeah? And why am I telling you this story? Because such gopis, such Radha exists even today. That's why Krishna says, Janma karma chame divyam yo veti tattvataha. Kamsas and Ravans. And dividing people exist even today. We don't have to go into the past to know the truth of the past. Because what was in the past is there in the present today also. Yeah. Today also, really speaking, who runs the place, even the country? Women only. And how can they love it with their with their emotional intelligence, which they want to discover in the universities. Pure love is the driving shakti behind any achievement in this world. It is there in all human beings. But to women, it comes naturally. And it's the responsibility of the woman to train their sons also into it. Because hmm? that kind of love, that kind of emotional intelligence, why in our country we have worshipped hmm, Devi, no other place women are worshipped. In that country, you say women require empowerment. They want to support the, their discrimination on India. I'm telling you all these things is to know what power lies within you. Awaken that Radha in you. Awaken that Gopi in you. Not only women, but men. For years, these people have had help, self-help groups. Hmm? And thousand villages. Today, even one center. Hmm? Thousand villages. Hmm? They have made them self-sufficient. But during this pandemic, where there was lockdowns in India longer than anywhere else, where there was, uh, what to say, uh, uh, this uh, long, longer periods of lockdowns, social distancing, no person-to-person -person 
contact. When I went to Siddhbadi after the first wave of the pand uh, this, uh, pandemic, everything was quite shut down even there. Even God was working only on and they still continued in spite of that. On their, their, their uh, what to say, on the internet they continued online. When the second wave of pandemic hit, the delta wave, hmm, you all know hmm, what was happening. And thanks to the bad publicity that people love giving to India, hmm, everybody wanted to dump oxygen there. Hmm. And that's the time we started the campaign, each one, reach one. Before that, everybody from around the world, you know what, pandemic, you know, people have got lost their jobs or are thinking that they're going to lose their job and people will not give money, you know, we have got so much to pay off, mortgages to pay off, all this was being heard and all understandable. Hmm? But now it was not a point of hmm, question whether we can or not, we had to do it. So internationally, I send out the campaign, each one, reach one. And never ever done before. Hmm? Within one week from our global Chinmaya family, yeah, including America, hmm? which is one of the greatest, you know, contributors. When today m money is here, you know, so it's the biggest contributor. What was amazing is that we raised one million dollars in one week from our devotees only from around the world, India and around the world, hmm? one million. And our networking because of this whole, you know, global programs that we did, starting with outing uncertainty, hmm? which probably didn't even reach many of you. Hmm? All that pro programs, we had such good networking, with our centers that we told each center to find out what is required in your town, city or village and let us provide it. Don't worry about the finances, we will do it. In one week it was dispatched to various different places, even different organizations, what was required by them. Not that everybody wanted to give oxygen, take a photograph and we saved India by giving oxygen. Oxygen was not the priority. Plenty of oxygen is manufactured in India. It just took time to reach there. It was unfortunate. But who's prepared? No? In one week it was dispatched to where it was required and that way we can save. We helped many, many institutions areas, including our own hospitals, clinics that we have, to see that maximum service during COVID time was given. And this is internationally $1 million. I go to Siddhbadi again after that. And this time, I said, all these years, I've never, because they're so scattered around, let us have a meeting. And I want to meet all these wonderful sevaks, who over the years have done so much work. It was the first time in two years they were meeting in person. We met on the mountains so that there would be you know, distancing. And so humbly they were reporting how I asked them, how did you manage COVID time, you know, all these things, illnesses in the village, and how did you manage? For them, it's not just illnesses. No resources reaching them. The remote, most remote. Do you know this village woman? During that time of major crisis in the country itself, even economically, how much would you just think in your mind? How much do you think? This is the most rural village. If you see even the ratio or percentage, how much do you think they would have raised and helped the villages from not perishing? The farmers from not dying. Yeah? For productivity to continue for the community, whether it's agriculture, etc. How much do you think they would have raised? Hmm? 
thousand lakhs and from there only not international international whatever we could send them also we send them hmm? how much did you there is do you think 18 crores almost 3 million dollars hmm? and how from the experience of micro banking the credibility with the banks that they had built no bank even in the city dares to give loan these women from their cheap phones have spoken to the banks convinced them and raised 18 crores to be dispatched to the villages and mind you this is 100% returned loans how did these women have the ability how did these women have the intelligence how were these women able to and not only save lives of the village their productivity their grains go out and people are telling you know women equality women empowerment you know we have to do for these poor women in india now you realize who's poor hmm? that spirit of the gopis that love and how humbly they say this is all that we have learned from chitya mission and what is the difference between the intelligent capable achievers and dedicated people around the world in our mission we have no shortage of that hmm? like the first bhagavad sapta hmm? for dundukari there was no option left they did not keep an option these gopis did not feel whether we can do it or not do it it is possible or not possible or with the help that as usual that comes from chinmaya mission hmm? they felt the necessity and the urgency hmm? while around the world people were criticizing the government of india for not reaching oxygen in time these women just did it their devotion to gurudev they're living up to the motto the service of the nation is the service of the lord of lords and devotion to the people is devotion to the supreme self they didn't think that they are doing it for someone else these women who have made themselves self sufficient go even now from village to village making them self sufficient this is what i call hmm, as a gopi aradha hmm? i could not just get they just got up and did namaskar to them and they didn't even know what they have done that's why i told on the first day radha bhakti hmm? radha shakti bina na koi shamal darshan pave cuz jin sevya tin paya man hmm? people do little seva and they think that we have done a lot and nobody listens to me hmm? own selfishness comes in ego comes in they don't realize you might think it is valid but the gopis realized hmm? what that the moment this ego comes in that bliss that joy that ras hmm? 
comes to an end. And therefore Radha cannot even, Radha cannot even bear this, this much difference that hmm, along with Krishna, the beloved of Krishna, her attention goes to Radha. Hmm? And therefore, who is Radha? Hmm? When waters gather on the mountain tops, if you've ever been to New Zealand or maybe a Rockies here, hmm? the water is so pure, so crystal clear that the blueness of the heaven. The clouds of the heaven get so reflected that you see heaven on earth. The sky on earth. But unfortunately, those waters don't remain there. They come down the mountain tops. And as they come down the mountain sides, they gather dust, gravel, and as they grow, meet each other, and they become even stronger and stronger and stronger. The quantity of water increases. The, the, what to say, the pebbles, the rocks come gliding down. And by the time it has come down to the plains, it's a torrential river with mud, with dust, with boulders, etc. Dashing away to be wasted in the ocean. But if that river has to reach to its pristine glory, its source, that river has to make a right about turn immediately. And when you make that U turn, that is what the Shivalinga tells us, U turn. And when that dhara that comes downhill has to again go uphill, it is not an easy task. Building something new is fine, rebuilding something is very difficult. Hmm? Here, same thing. Starting a sadhana is easy. But once you stop it, to restart it is very difficult. As the river goes up, it has to drop all its mud, all its boulders, all the heavy baggage it is carrying. No? Till when that river comes back to the top, all the extra baggage, pebbles, everything are dropped. Sarva dharman parityajya. And when comes back to the lake, then the infinite blue is seen one with that lake. This is the spiritual path. The flow of water towards the salty worlds of objects, gathering so much baggage of vasanas, ego, mud, dirt, sin, etc., is called as dhara. Siddha and ra. Hmm? It becomes radha. Now you know what radha is. And it is possible, and if you have not yet come, May 8th, 1st to 8th May, Gurudev's birth Jayanti, we'll, Guruji and I will be having a camp in Siddhabadi. Come. Hmm? Don't make excuses. Come. And come and see these gopis in action. And know that if they can do it, you can do it. Hmm? Gurudev such big work and hmm? 
projects, even like CVV, the Jinmya University. If each one of us only in the mission gave their own heartfelt contribution and from that contact list called up people to give whatever they can give, thousand crores can be collected within one week. It's not that our people don't want it. They don't feel the responsibility and the necessity for it. Not recognizing the importance of this knowledge passing on to the generation, not just the spiritual knowledge, but education in the modern society, but with the mindset and the knowledge of the ancient. That knowledge of the Gita of not only life management but political management was given in the Gita and managing our own mind and our own Duryodhana is within. Yeah. For which Bhagwan Krishna took avatar. If that knowledge we don't propagate and live it, do you know what we have lost? We've lost a lot already. But we are even losing the capacity of our children to earn a lot of money by even pushing them in this kind of education. Think about it. Therefore, think big, think Chinmaya, think Krishna. Hmm? Otherwise, you know, ah, ya yeah, bhakti, bhakti, yes, Krishna, 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 Krishna. I'm giving you the whole framework from day one. That how in every aspect of our life we need to grow yeah? as individuals, as family, as the mission, as a nation. And then see how we can bring back the glory of Bharat, where the whole world came to reach. So, hmm? Radhe 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 Govinda. Vrindavan Chanda. Vrindavan Chanda Anathanatha Dina Bandhu Radhe Govinda Anathanatha Dina Bandhu Radhe Govinda Pandarinatha Panduranga Radhe Govinda Pandarinatha Panduranga Radhe Govinda Vrindavan Chanda Vrindavan Chanda Anathanatha Dina Bandhu Radhe Govinda Anathanatha Dina Bandhu Radhe Govinda Radhe 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 Govinda Radhe 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 Govinda Radhe 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 Govinda 
राधे 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 गोविंदा राधे 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 गोविंदा वृंदावन चंदा अनाथ नाथ दीना बंधु राधे गोविंदा ओम सर्वे भवंतु सुखिना सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चिद दुख भाग भवे असतो मा सद्गमय तमसो मा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृतम गमय ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिदम पूर्णात् पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शान्ति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम बोलो राधे 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 Mr. Pooja Swamiji, we are so extremely thankful for bringing us into a level of bliss over this last three days with the blessed presence of Pooja Swamiji. Uh, knowing him more closely now, I recognize the type of uh, schedule that Swamiji keeps. Uh, and it's really amazing that Swamiji is able to keep that type of schedule and then also include Chicago in his part of his itinerary. So, Swamiji's presence here blessed all of us, uh, our uh, brothers and sisters at uh, Badri Center here at Yamanotri, and now this evening we'll be going to Gangotri Center. So, we are extremely thankful for Puja Swamiji for coming here, blessing us, enlightening us, taking us to a completely different level, and, and truly coming at the very, uh, uh, a very, very uh, important time, that being the anniversary of Puja, our Sri Radha Krishna, and understanding the meaning of Radha in the way that Swamiji explained uh, during these three days, something that uh, completely left us spellbound. So we are very, very thankful to Puja Swamiji. Uh, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank, of course, our own Pujya Swami Sharanandi, uh, Sri Dhiranji. And among us today, we are very fortunate to have our uh, Pujya Uncle Ji and Auntie Ji. Uh, they have traveled from Minnesota, so we thank them. Uh, we are also extremely thankful to all the benefactors who have come here, who have supported us throughout this time. We went through a difficult time, two years, two and a half years of no meeting in person. And yet, many of us uh, really come to ca came together and made sure that our mission activities remain, uh, you know, they continue and they, don't, uh, they are not impeded in any way. So we are very, very thankful for the support that you are given with your presence, uh, either in person or remotely, uh, financially or otherwise. All of that is has been extremely beneficial. And we are pleased to see now that things are coming together. We are going to meet in person. Our new session start on September 10th. Uh, we are looking forward to having all of us together as a family once again. Um, we um, also have uh, 
many uh, individuals who were, you were part of uh, Yamanotri many years ago, but have moved on to other places. And we are very thankful that they are here as well. There are uh, also members from uh, uh, members from other organizations, as well as uh, other Chinmaya Mission Centers. We are very thankful for you, uh, to you for coming here and supporting us. So today, um, now that we are concluding, uh, we will conclude with the Aarti, uh, and then once the Aarti is done, then Pujya Swamiji will be seated here in the middle uh, as part of our tradition of offering our Dakshina to our uh, Guru who is enlightening us with uh, such profound knowledge. Uh, we just offer our token gratitude to him by coming to Pujya Swamiji and offering the Dakshina. So please take the Dakshina. Uh, those who have sponsored the Anadanam Mukhya Yajmanship or Yajmanship, they also have something that they can take with them. Uh, as an, uh, Our Sevika will be there to distribute that to you. But then please come to Sujit Swamiji, offer your Dakshina, uh, take the little Prasad book, and please come join us for lunch. And we let's celebrate this momentous occasion for us. Uh, I'm also, I want to like to, our Shankarji, Shankar Pillai ji. <laughs> Our Shankar ji is here. Uh, despite his very busy schedule, uh, sometimes health challenges, he has made time to come here. We are very thankful. Our president of Chinmaya Mission, Shankar ji. And Ashok Dolakia ji, the vice president, he's also taken time with Nirmata ji to come. So very much, we, you know, express our gratitude to all of you. So with that, uh, let us now join the Aarti. After the Aarti, there will be a dun going on. Please join the dun and please do not engage in two other talks. Uh, but please join the dun and then as we go out, then you can meet and socialize. Hari Om. Pranam.